We all know that learning a new tool can be both exciting and daunting at the same time. Luckily, Vev is built with the same logic as your favorite design platforms, Illustrator, Photoshop, Sketch, or Figma. So hopefully you'll feel right at home. In this tutorial, we're gonna give you a product tour of Vev. We're gonna cover everything from the dashboard to the account settings, to the different editors, the design, content, and code editors. So we'll start with the dashboard here. In the main view, you'll see a project grid and you can hover over each project and see four options, open, copy, move, or delete. Don't worry, if you do click on this, there's a second dialog box that opens, just to make sure. On the left-hand side, you'll be able to access some smart categorization. You have recent, you know, access to the last project you were looking at. Templates, this is a bit more of an advanced feature where you can save designs as templates and publish at scale. And you have drafts, everything that's in progress um, and not published. Lastly, you have examples. This is supplied by the Vev team. These are great starting points for any type of content you wanna create. Below that, we have our teams and workspaces. So as you can see, I'm already in the Vev tutorials team and I can change that team by clicking on the change team button here. This will ha have a drop down that will show you all the different teams that you're a part of. For the individual and team plans, that will only be one singular team. But for the enterprise plans, that could be anywhere between five or 10 teams, depending on the departments or how you organize it. In the workspaces, we have a tutorial folder. And think of workspaces like folders. You can just continue to build it out like you would in your desktop or Google Drive. Um, and so you can have a whole host of organization uh, principles here. It's really great uh, because as a organized person like myself, I can organize this by the campaigns I'm doing or the people I'm working with, um, you know, depending on what your needs are. So that's gonna cover the dashboard. And next we're gonna go into the account settings. You can access the account settings by clicking on the hamburger and clicking on account. From here, it's gonna give you a great overview of your account. It's gonna show you what type of plan you're on, how many users there are, how many teams and integrations, as well as any support that you're currently on. You can also access billing specifics, user specifics, teams, hosting integrations, and last thing is logging. Logging is a great place to look at all the activity that's been happening within Vev from all your team. So let's cover the editors now. We'll go back to our tutorial workspace and we'll open up this designer portfolio tutorial. So once you're in the design editor, which is the first thing that opens, you're gonna be able to do some really cool things. This is the heart of Vev. You're gonna be able to choose on any element and you're gonna be able to drag it around as you would in a free roaming canvas. So this at, at, heart, at its heart is really the true power of Vev. Other platforms adhere to a grid format, but we, we really wanna free the imagination. So we really just wanna make sure you can drag something on the canvas and place it exactly where you'd like to. Now again, it is responsive. So you basically you place it for desktop, tablet, and mobile, and each breakpoint is saved. Therefore, you can have really unique layouts. And if you do mess up, you can press Apple Z and get it right back into the last safe position. So next we have the content editor. The content editor is great for writers. It's gonna lock the design in place. So the only thing that can happen here is changing text or images or buttons or things of that nature. Each element has a certain amount of variables that it can um, customize or it can edit within the, cust uh, within the content editor. So you're really at no risk of breaking the designs, which is great. So for instance, for images, you can change the focal point or you can simply change the image. Lastly, we have the code editor. In the code editor, you'll be able to access any feature that we have, any widget, um, really any code. A lot of platforms lock you out of code and we really wanna invite you into it. So the way we do that um, is by really revealing the tech stack behind Vev, which is fully built in React. So if you're well-versed in React, you'll feel right at home. And here, this is just an example of the style um, sheet that we're working with. So for instance, you'll see highlighted, we have this Vev command. And this is really an interesting part of Vev. So instead of hard coding styles um, all the time, you know, colors and um, you know primaries and all that kind of stuff, all you're gonna do is just basically code VEV, Vev. And that's gonna hook up straight to the design editor so the user can pick for you. So for instance, we have color VEV. All that's telling 
is all it's telling the the program is essentially you know let the user pick the color palette so the user can use our design or a color wheel and just choose exactly what um, hex value they would like to choose from so we're going to dive deeper into each one of these editors but this is just a brief overview for now so we hope you enjoyed the product tour and we hope to see you in the next tutorial